Folks, welcome to this week's show of Extreme Christian Outdoors, and we got uh, the hunter this week's going to be Mr. Braxton Kirkendall, and his uh, helper's going to be Hunter Young. Braxton, what, what are we going after? I think we're going after a turkey, ain't we? You've been wanting to kill a turkey. You reckon we can find one? It depends. Well, it's getting late in the season, so maybe we'll do some good. What are you going to try to shoot it with? Crossbow. A crossbow. Velocity crossbow. So. We're going to try that. If it don't work, I guess we'll have to bring out a slingshot, won't we? Yep. Nah, you think you can pop him with a crossbow? Oscar going to help you? I reckon. You reckon? Well, folks, we're fixing to head up to Tennessee. Uh, looks like it's fixing to rain here. So, y'all stay tuned. Join us. And we're going to go see if Braxton can kill his first turkey. Is that right, Braxton? Yep. And Hunter, he's going to try to do the calling. You don't know about that. No. Well, Oscar can't call. Maybe. Maybe? Okay. Well, folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Braxton, what are you doing, son? Well, we're going to Tennessee. And what are we going to do in Tennessee? We're going to kill us a turkey. What you going to kill it with? Crossbow. Do you think you can hit it with a crossbow? Yeah. You're sure? Pretty sure. What are you going to do if you miss? Yes, miss. Are you going to blame it on Oscar? Yeah. It'll be his fault, won't it? Yep. What's Hunter doing over there? He's asleep. Is he tired? I think so. Well, you reckon, why is he tired? Don't know? Don't know. Would you tell Oscar to hurry up? We Oscar. gotta get there. Hurry up! We gotta get there, boy. I'm a hurry, and I'm hungry too. Uh, you, ain't, you ain't hungry, though, are you? Well, I guess we could eat a spot. Well, all right. Well, what do you do? What do we? You're watching Extreme Christian Outdoors. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna set this blind up here for him. We done seen what a couple of good turkeys. Yeah. We got all day, and he's gonna try to kill it with a crossbow, velocity crossbow. We yeah. hope. Uh, we hope. We're gonna have a shotgun just in case. That's right. Is, uh, Craig, something wrong with Craig too? Yeah. Cause he's sleep, but he slept longer than Brad. You hear that turkey? Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, thing. Craig, he always sleeps. Now, where we're gonna put? Watch, cause Craig, maybe he has to have all the rest. I think we're gonna let Craig yeah. call. Yeah, we let him. Call. We figured he'd stay awake during yeah. that. Maybe. But we can't let him hold no weapons. No. No. We we better just let's let's get this up. blind set up. Scratching around, but now trying to figure out where we're at. No, they probably ain't still in our bed yet. But when they smell that sausage and stuff, yeah, they get it. Yeah, I think these birds will come back in here about ten or so. so. Yeah, yeah, I think 
I think right now we're doing the right thing to set the blind yeah, up. Let him rest. Here, let him rest. He's not a very good morning person. Just that stuff wears him down, you know? Yeah. Well, folks, we're up here in Tennessee at Bridge Creek uh, Trophy Hunts, and uh, we're doing one of our extreme dream hunts with somebody that's not a stranger to most of all, Mr. Braxton Kirkendall. Uh, he's nine years old. Uh, he's been battling neuroblastoma, I believe is how you pronounce it, it's a type of cancer. And uh, he's been battling now for about three years, and uh, he's a trooper. Yes, he is. He's a trooper, and uh, he's a hunter. Yeah, he is. Now, he's killed, he's killed fallow deer, he killed a giant whitetail back in December, mm -hmm. and we actually went and picked his head up this past Tuesday for him. Yeah, he's tickled. And uh, he's been wanting to kill a turkey. That's been on his bucket list. And so we've had to wait. He's, he's fiddled around here. And it's the end of the season. He fell and broke his arm earlier, so he's had a cast on. He's got it off. And then he's been in and out of the hospital doing treatments and stuff. So, But he's out now. He's doing good for a day or two. I think he's got to go back in Monday for some more treatments. And uh, we kind of pulled one on him, folks. He didn't know what he was doing. Uh, we told him, his parents told him, we kind of made it up that he was going to come spend the night with me last night, which wasn't a lie, but he didn't know it was going to be in Tennessee. So he was excited. We got one of his buddies, uh, Hunter Young, is going to be with him. And uh, he was excited to see Hunter. So uh, we kind of we kind of pulled one on the little fella. He's so smart, you can't get nothing on him. So we got him on that. He's so sharp. He's sharp. So y'all stay tuned. If we can get Craig out of the bed and get him motivated, we might have to pour some coffee down him or, or something. Some. Yeah. And uh, we're going to try to see if Braxton Kirkendall can kill his first turkey uh, up here in Tennessee at Bridge Creek Trophy Hunts. And folks, you can check their information out at the end of the show, their website, give Jeff a call. And a uh, great place to come, great place to come, bring your family. Uh, you know, if you got a corporate group uh, or your buddies, a uh, good, good getaway, a great hospitality. What about the food, Oscar? It's good. It's good. I it? didn't get this figure without eating. That's right. Y'all stay tuned, you're watching Extreme Christian Outdoors Dream Hunts. Smoke. Good shot. need to check them out. Uh, great crossbow, smooth shooting, fast, and quiet for a crossbow in it. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, we, who, what, who's your hunting buddy you got with you today? Well, today we got Hunter Young. Hunter Young. Is he going to be the dragger, toter? What's gonna, he going to be? I'm going to be the toter. He's going to be the caller. Who's going to kill it, Oscar? You? You mm. think you can hit it? You think so? If I can hit the broad saddle barn, I can hit turkey. Oh, okay, okay. Mom could shoot better than you could. Oh, you don't sure? know about that. Sound like a challenge here. Yeah. Well, folks, we're up here on an extreme dream hunt with Mr. Braxton Kirkendall, and uh, one thing on his, as we call it, a bucket list is kill a turkey. So we're going to see what happens today. You got a bunch of turkeys with you, that's for sure. Yeah. So. <laughs> Maybe maybe we'll get something called up after fall. Folks, y'all stay tuned. Braxton's going turkey hunting. In business since 1978, Ware Chevrolet in Blairsville, Georgia is where folks go to buy their cars and trucks. Vehicles like the 2015 Chevy Tahoe with better fuel economy than any of its competitors and the Chevy Silverado with the best fuel economy of any truck in its class. The first to receive a five-star overall safety rating since 2011. A full service dealership with a complete parts department and service center. Call Ware Chevrolet today at 877 241 4427.
Alright boys, we got our blind set up, got our crossbow ready. Braxton, you ready? Come on, ready. You born ready? I hear you buddy. Jesse done sent a bunch of turkeys in, okay? Said there's one really, really, really big turkey. So now are you going to shoot the first gobbler or are you going to try to wait on that big one? I'm trying to wait on a little bit of a big one. You going to get a big one? Alright. Uh, we're going to do a little calling. Hunter's going to do some calling most of the time and try to get everything going. We got our gravel too. See if we can't get him fired up, ready to go. Uh, when we get everything, we got our decoy set up out there. So maybe he'll come right straight in the decoy, I hope. Hopefully he'll gobble a bunch. I hope so. But maybe they will. You never know with a turkey. He might gobble, he might not. I know we and Hunter, we hunted several times and called some up and we'd get ready to go and We'd look and there they'd be, they didn't say a word, didn't gobble or nothing, did they? I mean, it's just, nope. it's been, them things is hard to fool with, ain't they? Yeah. But, uh, but we're going to get out here and see if we can't run a little call. You ready? ready. You want me to run the first call and see if we can get him to gobble? I'll get him to Huh? Well, we'll do that later. Let's see if we can get him in here with a hand, okay? Aren't y'all ready, Hunter? Go ahead and put your head in that up. We'll get mine up. Get everything ready. Gotta shake it hard. <laughs> Let me show you. Let me call one more time. Let's call this in a little while. I'll give him some soft milk, so I might get a car on that one.
got him. You got him. You got him. You got him. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Come on, let's go get him. Here, go. help him get him. Go, 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 get him, Braxton. Get him. Hurry, don't let him get off. Go, go, Braxton, run. You feel him? Braxton, here we are again, dude. You said you was gonna kill that turkey, and there he is. Yeah. Dude, give me some knuckles. That was an awesome shot, baby. I hear you. I didn't think it was ever gonna happen the way that thing kept circling around us and didn't want to come up. It kept wanting to come up on top of this hill up here, didn't he? So what did we do? We made up here and we did. We made the move on him, didn't we? Got on up in the morning. He wasn't talking much, and you call her. Who was calling for you? Hunter That's Young. Hunter Young. That's pretty good calling, Hunter. Middle of the day. Got that thing to gobble, you kept saying, I didn't hear it, and I'm telling you, I know I could hear him, and Hunter called, and he gobbled, and then we knowed it was on, didn't we? We knowed it was on like donkey. I heard that, man. <laughs> <laughs> on like donkey call. You done a good job, son. That was a, that was a, I can't believe you hit it where you shot at that. I did. That, that was, was awesome. a, that was a tough shot. It was a real tough shot. Well, Jeff, why are you talking about that shot? Now, that's a pretty cool crossbow he's that, sporting right That there. is a cool crossbow. That's one of our sponsors, uh, Velocity Crossbows. Yes, sir. And uh, Mark Winberg, he's the uh, founder and uh, owner. And he's been super to us, sponsoring us over the last couple of years. And he's got a brand new one coming out, but I can't say a whole lot about it right now. I just talked to him on right. the phone, actually, yesterday. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, he was telling me all about it, and I'm excited. He's going to ship us one in the mail for a you know, promo deal. We're going to go Coming out and up. try it out. Right. And uh, so I'm, I'm anxious to see it and shoot it, but that's one of the quietest crossbows I've heard on the market. That was unreal. And super fast. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not that heavy. As you've seen, you know, Brax right. is nine years old and handled it just fine. Oh, yeah, no problem. Dude. No problem. You know, so great crossbow. Look them up. You know, Velocity Archery. Uh, you can go to their website, uh, velocityarchery.com. Go to our website and Check put them out. up on it, uh, super crossbow. Yeah, and Jeff also, you know, they got more than just the crossbow itself. They had the vo velocity uh, shafts. Yep, and that's they what have, he was using. That's what he's using, and also he's using Spandad Broadheads. Yeah, one of our other sponsors, yep. Spandad, uh, Sanford uh, Innovations. Yep. Uh, we've shot, what, deer, hogs, deer, turkeys. Hogs, everything. That's not the first turkey one of them broadheads is no. hit. It's a mechanical broadhead. Uh, he makes a fixed broadhead also, but, uh, these mechanicals here, you know, they're guaranteed not to, uh, what I call, I'm just old fashioned, I call it ricochet. Right, You know, right. some of them you get a quarter and away shot on animals, <laughs> you know, they are hit a little limb and they do that. And uh, no rubber bands uh, oh, on awesome. these broadheads, they're piston driven. Uh, once you shoot something, as long as you don't, you know, hit a bone and run the, the shaft in the broadhead, you just take your hand and set it back, you're ready to go, again. go again. And, it, and the blades are changeable. You can change really? blades in them, yes sir. Yep. Well, that's unreal. Well, it surely it messed that turkey up. He didn't go anywhere. He, he sat he down. He just sat down there. I've <laughs> seen him run off with a shotgun and before. Keep going, yes, yeah. sir. But of course, that was all. That was shot placement. Shot wasn't placement. It? That's yeah. exactly what. Right, old was. Dead Eye Kirkendall <laughs> here. Dead Eye Kirkendall. Well, I'm sure proud he got one. We we was getting worried about it during during the turkey season. Uh, he. In and out of the hospital with treatments and any food around, and broke his arm. Yeah, good. He had all. a cast on, he couldn't <laughs> shoot. But now, Oscar, you offered to go shoot a turkey for him. I didn't did. You? I offered. And he wouldn't take you no, up on it. Do. I mean, that's a good friend. That is. Maybe you know, he do that. I would send him pictures. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't you think you could have killed it the first shot like he did, though? I doubt it. <clears throat> I doubt it. It usually takes me two or three shots. Yeah. I've hunted with Oscar. I've seen theirs in the trees, buddy. We've hunted with Braxton quite a bit, and he's made some good shots now. Uh, I believe he's got everything on the first shot. I think so. So, good deal. Well, folks, you're watching Extreme Christian Outdoors. This is one of our extreme dream hunts, and uh, our hunter today was Mr. Braxton Kirkendall, and his hunting buddy was Hunter Young, which done a fantastic job of calling. And how old are you, Hunter? Eleven. Eleven years old. And... Uh, He's going to be a super turkey caller. You better watch out for him. You'll see his name again one day. So maybe he'll go call me and you one up. Maybe when we get old. Or he, he's older. He's already okay. in the whole bunch. <laughs> <laughs> he owes dad a few. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me know how that works out. Yeah, I, I won't never get I've done, I've done got a 22-year-old and a 19-year-old, and I, that's so far. 
they ain't calling you none. No, no, that's no. All right. So I might get them to go to England and get me one when I get old. Yeah. If I'm lucky. Maybe. Maybe. You might have to buy the gas. But that'd be all right. Maybe. <laughs> well, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Uh, we've enjoyed bringing it to you. And if you're looking for a place to bring your family or you know your co-workers or just to come and get away and have a great time, check out BridgeCreekTrophyHunts.com. Uh, Mr. Jeff, the owner and founder, he'd be more than glad to uh, accommodate you. And like I said before, uh, super nice folks. Uh, everything's just super here. Hospitality, mm -hmm. food's great. Speaking of food, are you hungry again? I'm what hungry. do you think? Yep. Yep. Down for the so uh, <laughs> we're gonna get this thing out of here and let Braxton clean it and breast it and. I think he's gonna give you the beard. Is that what he said? No, I'm gonna keep the beard and play You know, what? we went and picked up your deer head, and and that I thought you was gonna let me hang it in my office, and that's not gonna happen either, Talk is it? Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. That's what I thought. Well, folks, we've enjoyed it. We've had a great time, and remember, take your family to church somewhere this Sunday. You'll be glad you did. Until next week, same time. May God bless. <laughs>